I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. What are your thoughts around Mark chapter 16, verses 9 through 20, and if they should be included in the Bible? My Bible says that some of the early manuscripts did not include it. Verses 17 and 18 are particularly interesting. Well, you're absolutely correct. So this is one of those textual issues that unfortunately somewhat commonplace when it comes to a discussion of the matter, whether it's John chapter 8 verses 1 through 11, uh, 1 John chapter 5 verses 5 through 7, known as the Johannine comma, or Mark 16, 9 through 20. Allow me to address this particular passage from two perspectives, theological and very practical, okay? So let's talk theological for a moment. If you do not allow verses 9 through 20 of Mark chapter 16 and you end at verse 8, then you have no actual account of a resurrected Jesus. Now, we understand from the other Gospels that, that we have those accounts, but here's why that's a problem in the Gospel of Mark. The Gospel of Mark begins in the very first verse, the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, there is no good news if you don't have a resurrection. And so if you don't have an account of the resurrection, then you don't have a complete gospel. So theologically, there's a significant issue with not having these last verses. Now, let's talk about it from a practical textual perspective. One of the arguments that you often hear in regards to not having these verses is that they were, quote, added later, just like John 8, 1 John 5, verses 5 through 7. Here's the problem with that. That's not how the editing process works. I've had the privilege of authoring several books and not including the academic papers I wrote on a variety of levels and through ample years worth of academic study. And when I edited, rarely if ever did I add, I always subtracted. In fact, one of the guys that taught me how to, or one of the professors that taught me how to write the very best always had me write a first draft that was going to be twice the length of my final draft so that in the editing process, I could remove that which was non-critical to the text. Do you see the pattern? A lot of these questioning of passages, I believe the editing is the removal of, not the adding of. Now, Another question for another day is when it says the earliest manuscripts is an investigation of who was it that actually compiled these manuscripts and what was their actual motivation. At the end of the day, if you're going to have the gospel of Jesus Christ, you have to have a resurrected Jesus Christ, which is found in verses 9 through 20. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. Net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.